my name is Lois Anderson, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite recipes. It's called kale chips, and I've already put um, my olive, half cup of olive oil in here, and then I'm going to put a half a cup of cashews, and we're going to blend that first. Okay, then we need a, another half cup of water in here. And a half a cup of nutritional flake, nutritional yeast flakes. And I have one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of none. Um, uh, salt seasoning, no se salt seasoning, and a uh, quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper is going in this for seasoning. And then we're going to put a whole lemon in there. And there's no seeds in this half, so that's good because we don't want seeds in there, otherwise it would be very bitter. Put the lemon in there, and then we're going to blend blend that again until it's nice and smooth. And I've already washed my kale, ripped it into um, small pieces, it took the heavy stem off, and um, I keep the stems to use in my juicing. When I do my carrot juice, I put that, some of them in with, or sometimes I put them in my green uh, smoothies, and so that way you don't waste anything. And so um, I'm going to put a, a glove on here, and we're going to massage this. Um, sauce into the kale and it'll it'll shrink down to about half of what what it was to start with so I've got some more over here I'm going to add to it but I want to work it in a little bit um, and, and get it to, to to shrink down a little bit before I put more in there because it takes about two and a half pounds of kale to do this batch and then we're going to put them on dehydrator sheets and um, dehydrate and it only takes overnight about eight eight to twelve hours and you have these wonderful cheesy flavored kale chips and to me they're they're a wonderful substitute for ch um, potato chips I of course like anybody else I love potato chips but they're not good for me and so this way I have something that tastes really good to me and um, is a, a substitute for that type of food. And okay, I've got some more over here. We're going to actually put some in the blender so that um, we can clean the blender out real good of that sauce because we want to just get all the sauce we can get out of here. A little more in there. Spatula never gets it all, you know, so we have to do something to to get it to uh, clean out really good.
Very simple recipe. I know you'll love it if you try it. Kale is so good for you. It's one of the dark green leaf, leafy vegetables that, that has so many, many nutrients in it. And uh, so that's another good thing that you can uh, know that you're getting something good and healthy for your body that is going to really make you, your body strong and healthy. Keep your immune system strong because of the wonderful deep green color. Anything that's got deep color is a good antioxidant to fight against the um, free radicals that we just normally get by, by living, you know. So um, I'm not going to show you the part where you put it on the dehydrator sheet, but I just spread it out on four dehydrator trays and um, then it's all ready to go in the dehydrator and you'll be eating it by the next morning.